Well, time now for Who Owns Kenya. For CMC Motors Limited, the dealers and the franchise holders for top-of-the-range motor vehicles such as the Range Rover, the Jaguar and the VW, 2011 will go down as possibly the worst year in the company's 63 years of doing business in Kenya. The company has been in the news since March for all the wrong reasons. A section of big shareholders in CMC ganged up to oust the company CEO Martin Forster, replacing him with Bill Lay. Also ousted was the long-serving board chairman Jeremiah Kereini, himself a significant shareholder in the company. Kereini was replaced by Peter Muthoka, who too was among the largest shareholders in CMC. He also happened to be doing lucrative business with CMC through his logistics company, Andy Freight Forward is Limited, a business some felt presented a conflict of interest. Muthoka's reign as chairman of CMC Group was short-lived. The same clique of shareholders that had propelled him to the top suddenly rebelled against him, and in September, he too was ousted. On his part, Muthoka has been on an offensive to regain control of the company that is now being chaired by another large shareholder, Joel Kibe. Have these wrangles affected the company? Marcus, market analysts say yes. Indeed, profitability dropped by over half from 927 million to 400 and million, 406 million shillings. This may also mean that you may have to wait a little bit longer before upgrading your Range Rover Vogue to the latest baby in the family, the beautiful Range Rover Evoque. Back now to the intrigues. By the time trading in CMC shares at the NSE was halted by the Capital Markets Authority in mid-September, there were signs that big shareholders were maneuvering to increase their stake in the company for use as leverage in an anticipated showdown at the AGM. By then, Muthoka had increased his shareholding to about 25%, which made him the largest single shareholder in the company. Under CMA regulations, this puts Muthoka on the threshold of being in a position to appoint in an AGM a quarter of the directors who sit on the board. Not surprisingly, Muthoka has been pushing for an extraordinary general meeting. But this may not happen anytime soon since the matter has now gone to court. Just what factors may have led to this outbreak of boardroom wars in a company that has for so many years been a model of boardroom tranquility? Well, experts say the biggest contributor to CMC boardroom wars is the change in the top shareholding in the company. For a long time, CMC top shareholding comprised of companies associated with old money and conservative associates of former President Moy, such as Joshua Kulei. Also on that list, Sir Charles Njonjo, Jeremiah Kereini, and the late P.K. Jani. But in recent times, most of them have sold their interests in CMC, as such new, younger, and more aggressive investors have bought into CMC, gaining control of the boardroom. And with more companies having younger and more aggressive investors, as the old guard make an exit, it's likely that the boardroom wars that we're seeing in CMC are just the beginning of a whole new ball game in town. But to cut short a long and complicated story, let's take a look at who's who among the feuding CMC top shareholders. The value of shares is based on the last trading price of 13 shillings 50 cents per share before the suspension of CMC shares at the NSC. Let's take a look at the list. Mobicom Investments Limited holds uh, 155.5 million shillings worth of shares. Now, this is a mobile phone company associated with Paul Wanderi Dungo and Joel Kibe. Next on that list is APA Insurance Company, 188.7 million shillings worth of shares. Following that, we've heard the name before associated with Mobicom Investments, Paul Wanderi Ndungo personally holds 733.05 million shillings worth of shares. And next, it's a name you've heard as well, Joel Kibe. 739.4 million shillings worth of shares is what he holds. Next, we have Kingsway Nominees Limited, which holds 975.3 million shillings worth of shares. And finally, Peter Muthoka holds 1.94 billion shillings worth 
of shares. Now, the six shareholders own shares with a combined value of 4.73 billion shillings, and their shareholding amounts to over 50% of CMC Holdings, a company with a market capitalization of 7.8 billion.